Oh, 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 grab my brew, Albert. This is going to be a good one. Jamie's gone to the one of the top-rated cafes in the whole of Blackpool. Oh, good morning, subscribers. Or good afternoon. Or good night. Whatever the case would be. Well, what are we doing today? I brought along a special guest. Do you remember that top 10 restaurant takeaway reviews that we did? Well, we're going to try them all out now. Starting at number 10, the Compass Cafe on Burley Street. It's got highly rated reviews, better than this corporation giant. Could you pan the camera around, please? We're not going in there. We don't do corporation food. So we're going to go to Compass Cafe, myself and my special guest who you've not met yet, and we're going to sample their famous breakfast. To a compass car! So here we are viewers. You may remember this street. This is Burley Street. And this is where the compass cafe bar is. Making a guest appearance on Jamie's Rock and Soul is my beautiful daughter who's going to help me with the review today. So we can give a fair and impartial opinion on the brekkie. Isn't that right, Sean? Nice little extra touch there, viewers. I was actually asked how I like my eggs. That's never been asked before. I feel privileged, like a king. So leading up to a uh, May Bank holiday weekend, it's actually quite nice in Blackpool today. This is Burley Street. Uh, Sean's gone with the orange juice. I've gone with the Americano. We've got HP and Heinz. It's all looking good so far. So here's the breakfast viewers. It looks brilliant, don't it? Look at that. Sean's gone for the eruption with the scrambled egg. There's some quality sausages right there. Now that, viewers, is what you call a sausage. As you can see, my daughter has a very neat way of eating. I've cut up all the sausages for her. <laughs> Not really. So everything's hot. Everything's tasty. The beans are good quality. The tomatoes are hot. The mushrooms aren't sweaty or greasy. The sausage is super tasty. The eggs are poached perfectly. But they have a speciality here at the Compass Cafe Bar. Their famous fried bread. Gonna try it. Mm. It's like the eggy bread you used to get. Mm. Jamie is definitely getting full now. It's taken nothing away from the breakfast. It's been beautiful. Look. 
Sam's doing a good job on hers as well. Are you enjoying that? Well, I've definitely had enough now. I've finished eating. Sean's tackling hers best she can. Come on, you can do it, Sean. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, we're going to say we're going to thank the staff who have been brilliant, and we're going to give our scores. We're not going to reveal the scores yet. Can you guess how many out of ten my daughter is going to give for this? So that was the Compass Cafe breakfast in a pan. Now we need to do the scores. What's the scores on the doors? What are the scores? Let's do the scores. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the best looking YouTuber of them all? <laughs> now that's just cheeky. <laughs> was that breakfast blooming marvellous? Or was it a blooming disaster? Over to Sean for her scores. Okay, Sean. Value for money out of ten. It was £25 in total. Nine out of ten? Staff out of ten? Ten. Ten out of ten for the staff? The breakfast out of ten? If I could give it more than ten, I would. All right, so the maximum is ten, so it's a perfect score. And the cleanliness of the cafe? Nine. And nine for cleanliness. So that's an overall score of around... 9.75 out of 10 for the Compass Cafe. What would you vote value for money? Value for money, it was 25 quid. That is pricey, but as you could see by the breakfast, it probably would have fed four people. So value for money, 8.5 out of 10. Next one, service. The service and the staff. The waitresses were wonderful. The guy, the manager, I think he was running the place, really friendly. And he subscribed to Jamie's Rock and Soul as well, so it's a 10 out of 10 on that one. Can't go wrong with that. Finally, the food. Food? Those big jumbo sausages <laughs> and perfectly cooked mushrooms. Their signature fried bread, it was like uh, eggy bread, but really, really nice. Poached eggs done perfect I may be upset about the price but I can't argue with the taste it also gets a 10 out of 10 from Jamie's Rock and Soul so the overall score we're going to combine my score and my daughter's score gives us an overall score of 9.5 out of 10 Compass Cafe take a bow would I go there again? Hell yeah, I'd go there again. It was absolutely delicious. And you deserve your place on that trip advisor ranking. Be sure to hit like, subscribe, and get that notification bell. Bye. Love yous. Love yous. <laughs>